Stanley Tucci is a man of many talents, but he's best known for his work as an actor. Some of his most memorable film appearances include The Terminal, The Devil Wears Prada, and The Hunger Games Trilogy. However, acting isn't Tucci's only skill. Once he became involved in the film industry, he knew there was a lot more he could offer. Today, he's also worked as a director, producer, and writer. This A-list celebrity's career has spanned nearly four decades, and he's certainly come a long way since he first entered the acting business. While Stanley Tucci enjoyed sports such as baseball and soccer while he was in high school, his real passion lay in drama. He and his friend, Campbell Scott, were involved in a number of school plays together. Stanley then majored in acting at State University of New York at Purchase, but he and Campbell remained good friends. The two got their first roles in 1982, when Scott's mother offered the two roles as soldiers in the Broadway production The Queens and the Rebels. This lineless, onstage appearance may have been a humble start, but young Stanley felt the stirrings of something more. While he worked hard to make it big as an actor, Tucci supplemented his income by working as a fashion model, most notably appearing in a commercial for Levi's 501 Jeans. In 1985, however, he was able to make his film acting debut in the movie Pritzi's Honor. Between 1985 and 94, Tucci landed a number of other minor and supporting roles, which he used to gain experience as well as beef up his resume. His breakthrough came in 1995, when he played the starring role in the TV series Murder One. Even though the show ended in 1996, it was enough for Tucci to make a name for himself, and before long, he was offered many larger roles in various films and TV shows. From there, Stanley Tucci began to work as a director, writer, and producer. However, he certainly didn't abandon his work as an actor. If anything, his career only grew from there. He began to star alongside even more impressive actors, most notably film legend Meryl Streep. In today's video, we're going to take a behind-the-scenes look at Stanley Tucci's life. You're bound to learn some surprising facts about his acting career as well as his personal life. Make sure you stick around because we're going to reveal one more surprising talent that led to a shocking career choice. He loved acting from a young age. Stanley Tucci was heavily involved in drama while in high school, and he felt comfortable in the limelight starting early. After studying acting in college, he was ready to go out into the world and become famous in film. Initially, however, Tucci was disappointed with the roles he was given. In many of his earlier films, including The Public Eye, Billy Bathgate, and Men of Respect, he was typecast in mafioso roles. Determined that his Italian heritage would not define his career, he eventually stopped accepting roles of these kinds. Today, he no longer plays any characters that play on Italian stereotypes. He gave Ving Rhames his nickname. Ving Rhames is a very accomplished actor, known for his starring role in the Mission Impossible series, as well as for his work in Pulp Fiction and Dawn of the Dead. However, he wasn't always known as Ving. Born Irving Ramsey's Rames, it wasn't until he attended acting classes at the State University of New York's Conservatory of Theater Arts in Purchase that he would earn his nickname. There, he was a roommate and close friend to Stanley Tucci. Tucci gave him the nickname Ving, which he later adopted as his stage name. He had a huge influence on The Hunger Games. One of Stanley Tucci's most well-known roles is as Caesar Flickerman in the hit trilogy The Hunger Games adapted from the series of the same name, which was written by Suzanne Collins. The series was mainly aimed at young adults, and Tucci had never even heard of it before until director Gary Ross offered him the role. After he read the script, however, he decided to accept. He got very into his character and even made a few instrumental suggestions that would make Caesar Flickerman come to life on screen. He suggested adding a deep tan and freakishly white teeth, both of which made the character larger than life. His hardest role was in The Lovely Bones. In the film The Lovely Bones, Stanley played a serial killer named George Harvey. His performance earned him an Oscar nomination for Best Supporting Actor, but he confessed it was the most difficult role he'd ever played. As a father of five, he found it emotionally taxing to portray someone who hurt children. In an interview, he even said, I knew it would be painful, and I can't read books or see movies where children are harmed. However, he also acknowledged he feels these kinds of films are very important because they raise awareness about serious subjects. He loves to cook. Because he's so well known as an actor, many people are shocked to learn that film isn't the only passion in Stanley Tucci's life. His Italian heritage has also given him a deep love of food and cooking. In 1996, he co-directed the film Big Night, which was about two brothers who ran an Italian eatery in the 1950s. In the 2000s, Stanley Tucci decided it was time to delve into the world of food in a more realistic sense. 
He helped open the Finch Tavern, an Italian restaurant located in New York. Although the restaurant sadly closed down a few years later, Tucci still loved every minute of the adventure, and he hopes to someday open another restaurant. Stanley is a man of great skill and ambition, but he wouldn't have gotten nearly as far as he has without the support of his lovely wife. Make sure you stick around until the end of this video, where we'll reveal the famous family ties his wife has. Also, if you're enjoying our video so far, please take a moment to like it and subscribe to our channel for more. He's close friends and colleagues with Meryl Streep. Film legend Meryl Streep may seem untouchable to many, but to Stanley Tucci, she's an amazing friend. The two have known one another for some time, and their on-screen chemistry has led them to act together in many projects. They start alongside one another in both Julie and Julia, as well as The Devil Wears Prada. While preparing for Julie and Julia, the two even decided to try out method acting together. They spent a night cooking a meal, which in an interview, Stanley revealed to be quite impressive. Maybe Meryl Streep should go into the restaurant business as well. His first wife died of breast cancer. In 1995, Stanley married a social worker named Catherine Spoth Tucci. The two had three children together and lived happily for some time. In 2002, though, Stanley became involved in an affair with actress Edie Falco, and he left his wife and children. Catherine later reached out to Tucci, explaining to him she had been diagnosed with breast cancer. Tucci returned, and they stayed together until the end of her life in 2009. In several interviews, Tucci wasn't afraid to express his guilt over leaving her, although they at least managed to reconcile before she died. He's published two cookbooks. In 2012, Stanley Tucci combined his skills as a writer and as a cook by releasing the Tucci Cookbook. It featured over 200 Italian recipes that have been passed down through his family for generations. He published a second cookbook in 2014 entitled The Tucci Table, Cooking with Family and Friends. This time, he co-authored the book with his second wife, who works as a literary agent. Both books have sold incredibly well. It's amazing to think Tucci has been so successful in two wildly different areas of expertise. He truly is a man of many talents. He's related to Emily Blunt by marriage. While working on The Devil Wears Prada, Stanley Tucci met Emily Blunt. The two became fast friends. On July 10, 2010, Emily married John Krasinski, who became famous for his role as Jim in the hit sitcom The Office. They married at George Clooney's home in Italy, and Emily Blunt invited Stanley Tucci to the wedding. While he attended, he met Emily Blunt's sister, Felicity. The two connected over their love of food and stayed in touch long after the wedding. Before long, the two had established a romantic connection, and they married in 2012. Together, they have two children. In one interview, however, Tucci admitted he felt extremely anxious about going public with his relationship to Felicity Blunt. He felt guilty about marrying so soon after the death of his wife. But he seems incredibly happy now, and his second marriage was met with overwhelming positivity. Stanley Tucci is much more than just an actor. He's also a director, writer, and even a cook. Were you more surprised to learn he reconciled with his first wife before her death, or that he and his wife wrote a cookbook together? Let us know in the comments below. And don't forget to subscribe to Facts First for more.